Hey, I'm Jandy Nelson, the author of The Sky is Everywhere, and I'm really excited to be part of the Zoella Book Club with W.H. Smith. And I'm also really excited to answer some very pertinent questions. My favorite author is Virginia Woolf. My favorite novel is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. My favorite YA at the moment is actually um, Black Swan Green by David Mitchell, which wasn't um, marketed as a YA, but the voice of the 13-year-old narrator is so exceptional. It's so endearing. It's so hilarious. It's so bright. It's so um, alive. Um, so I'm quite in love with that novel at the moment. Um, my favorite quote is by E.E. E. Cummings, and it's, the thing perhaps is to eat flowers and not to be afraid. I think it's very beautiful. My motto, well, as per E.E. E. Cummings, I think we, my motto is to eat flowers and not to be afraid. Um, but I also, my writing motto is, um, I, have a write, I would say, is the quote by Oscar Wilde. He says, be yourself, everybody else is already taken. And I think about that a lot in terms of, of writing, that when you write, you want to get your personality on the page. Um, and then I also really love this quote by Zora Neale Hurston. Um, do not, uh, I do not weep at the world. I'm too busy sharpening my oyster knife. And I think that's, that's a really great motto for life. I would, the advice I would give my younger self, um, frankly, I think it would be those three quotes. I would tell my younger self not to weep at the world, to get busy sharpening my oyster knife. And I would tell my younger self to be, be yourself, <laughs> young Jandy, <laughs> and to eat flowers and not to be afraid, especially of airplanes, because you know what? So far, so good. <laughs> You shouldn't have spent so much time being so afraid when you're 35,000 feet in the air. What makes me happy? Well, eating delicious food makes me very happy, um, as do all my loved ones, being around my friends and family and everybody, um, and as does being in nature. So I think what makes me happiest would be... Um, would be being on a picnic, for instance, on a cliff overlooking the sea, redwoods all around me, all my loved ones um, around me, and we are eating the most delectable food and drinking champagne. <laughs> Makes me very happy. Even the thought of it is making me really happy. My favorite ice cream is chocolate peanut butter, without a doubt. It's amazing. Um, my favorite animal is the giraffe. Um, giraffes are marvels. And um, I'm also very fond of elephants, I have to say. My favorite item of clothing I am actually wearing. It's just my favorite item of clothing at the moment. They're new and I love them. They're these pants. They are bell-bottom paisley pants, a la Janis Joplin. And um, I really, I'm really in love with them. And then, um, but they also actually remind me of the sky is everywhere. Um, they remind me of Sarah because there's one scene when she goes into the deli where Lenny works, and she's described as a um, a fabric shop specializing in paisley. So actually, every time I wear them, I think these would be very good pants for Sarah. The last question: Where I like to write? I like to write. This is very bizarre, but I like to write in a completely dark room um, with my earplugs in, with sound machine blasting, with um, the only light in the room coming from the, the computer. And so for, for whatever reason, it's kind of like a sensory deprivation chamber, but for whatever reason, this allows me to live in the story in a much more intense way. So that's my, that's my favorite place to write. To write. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to say one thing. I am sitting here in my living room, and if you'll notice, the walls behind me, the walls, well, actually, my whole house, are orange, um, all different shades of orange. And that's kind of in honor of the sky is everywhere um, for Lenny and Bailey, who um, painted their room orange, and Bailey said that she thought it was the color of extraordinary. So it's kind of 
for Lenny and Bailey. And then also I wanted to show you, I'm sitting here because I wanted to show you these two paintings. If you'll notice, the people in the paintings are green. These paintings were done by my grandmother. And um, I stole this tidbit from my life and gave it to Graham in the sky is everywhere who only paints green women. And when I used to go to my grandmother's house, um, she, she had her paintings all over and they were all green people. <laughs> so anyway, it's been great talking to you and um, that's it. Bye.